Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about spreading data, props, and different ways we can manipulate data with Svelte. So let's get started. In the previous episode, we covered data bindings and reactivity, which is both very highly important uh, aspects of Svelte. So if you missed it, I highly suggest you check that one out. So uh, yeah, in today's episode though, we're gonna be dealing with our secondary component again. And I'm gonna be showing you how we can pass data down to it and change the secondary component when the primary one updates. So let's show that. So inside of our app.svelte, one thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is imports our secondary.svelte, right? That's a pretty, uh, we're gonna first need to import it. And let's say down here, I have the secondary.svelte file. And I'm gonna create a value called count and set it equal to 10 by default, let's just say. And let's say the secondary component is like some sort of like, you know, like let's say it's some sort of just display of account. I don't know. So in here, I'm going to do scripts. And don't forget when you're using TypeScript with Svelte, you type in lang equals ts for TypeScript. And then in here, we want to export some sort of count. I'm going to say export value or export lets value. And by default, I'm going to set it equal to uh, zero, let's just say, okay? And in here, we just want to update or show the value. That's all we want to do inside of this component. So inside of here, we can now pass down our secondary component. So we can do um, less than sign secondary and then close it off. And in here, we pass in the um, counts. So we do something like value is equal to counts. And just like that, we now have a value 10 getting shown on the display. In fact, I'm gonna make this an H1, so it's a little bit larger, right? And in here, I'm just gonna add a button that increments the count. So we can do something like this on click and then uh, do something like counts plus plus. There we go. And then in here, just have a plus sign. So when we increment this, what you see is, well, the count goes up. Now, let me actually show you why I set the value to zero by default. So if I don't pass in any value, we can have default props. So if I just don't pass in counts at all, what you'll see is it's now zero and it's not updating. And that's again, because we're not passing in the value of counts. So we just type value and then accounts. Now you may be like, okay, this is kind of annoying because we're passing in the value counts. What if we also want to pass in the value of like clicked or something? I don't know, like how many times we've clicked. Um, this this gets a little messy, right? If we want to pass in multiple props, like clicked is equal to something like clicked, you know, it, it can get really messy having a chain of props. So one thing we can do is if the value is called count here, we can change it to be called counts here and here. And what that means is in here, instead of typing in counts equals counts, you can just type in counts. And that'll do the same thing. For example, I can increment it and the value doesn't change, which I think this looks a lot nicer just being able to do uh, bracket, counts, and bracket. Another thing you can do is if you have a data structure, like say you have um, a value of let's, let's just say, um, I don't know, box is equal to x of 40, I don't know and y of 70 or 60, whatever. Let's say I want to show this entire component inside of um, our secondary dots felt. So one thing I can do is I can come over here and I can do this. I can do uh, box just like that. Now we're gonna get errors because it's like, hey, uh, I don't know about this box thing. But in here, if we do something like, or not box, uh, box dot dot, I don't know, it's uh, be able to run, dot 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 box. So in here, we're now passing in 
the whole entire box and we're destructuring it. So in here I can have let x equals zero by default, let y equals zero, and we have to add the export I'll show you. So you can see secondary was created with unknown prop x. Hmm, line four. What does that mean? Well, you had to export this. So the reason we put the export is so we can actually gain access to this right here. So we can gain access to those values. And you can see it works just as before. We're not actually showing the X and Y. For example, to do that, we can just do X is equal to X and then Y is equal to Y. And so now you can see we can pass in those values and it works just like that. So I showed you how we can uh, export slash pass down props inside of Svelte, how we can use syntax like this to kind of destructure the box itself. So we can do box and then do the spread syntax, which then just takes every single element, the X and the Y, and allows us to listen slash uh, import those values into our secondary component. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video where we talk about conditionally rendering, uh, rendering content. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.